today, I get to be part of the team that's putting together an astonishing piece of engineering, a movable field. So the field is set into what is basically a massive pan of lasagna. You have your drainage system, your sprinkler system, sand, dirt, and from all of that grows fresh, lush green grass. And the whole thing weighs 17 million pounds. Now, how heavy is that? That's as much as every single fan at an NFL game, plus every single player in the NFL and their mother. I love you, Ma. It takes one solid set of iron rails to hold up all that weight. But these rails are built in sections. So the challenge is, how do they fuse them together to make a single, indestructible railroad track that's over 1,000 feet long? Out here, eight, 10 hours a day, sweating our ass off. Gotta love it. Rail welders Shane Absalon and Richard Pierce knew that the answer was a tiny volcano with fire hot enough to melt iron. Of course, it didn't happen to mention that I might get burned to a crisp in the process. So basically, we're going to fuse together two separate rails right now? Correct. We have to make sure we have the right height that way, and then also that it's lined up in this direction here. Yeah, OK. They set a disposable brick mold onto the rail edges and cover it with an iron jacket. So this locks it in place? Yeah. So that when the molten lava comes in, it doesn't spill out? Lava's a good word for it. <laughs> Then, they pack in a special variety of sand for further insulation. Without it, the fire they're about to set is so hot that the iron jacket itself will fuse to the rail. Oh, God. Then, unbeknownst to me, they fire up a special blowtorch and set it right down into the mold. That is so hot. The heat coming out of the wind is so hot. This was like being at a barbecue if you live two doors down from the sun. Oh, see? <laughs> got the eyebrow left? <laughs> That's hot. Ready? Ready? Now for the volcano. First, Shane toasts up a marshmallow, an igniter brick. This will help fire up the volcano to come. Shane sets it into place. And here comes the crucible canister, filled with welding powder. You can go this way, because the wind's going to be... It's the key to the whole operation. That's the material that's getting sparked up? Yes. That's like a, like a kid's sparkler. So that's the sparkler. It's 4th of July. And this is our firework. Inside the crucible canister, the welding powder rises in temperature to 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit, causing a chemical reaction that turns the powder to heavy molten iron. A plug at the bottom breaks from the heat, and the iron pours down into the mold. 